And people in the chat were consistently just like, change the camera. Change the camera. <laughs> Okay, Terragon, I believe that's the name of a tournament. And YCZ, that's also a name of a tournament, actually. It's like an old school tournament, though. So maybe these guys took some names from the tournament. I'll tell you, I'll tell you what, though. What? I didn't know there was a Zenith brand TV, right? And then, uh, but I was like Apex, and so I saw an Apex brand TV, right? Yeah. And then I'll, I, I didn't really make the connection, and then I saw a Zenith brand TV, and I was like, wait a minute. Are these guys just like... We are naming our looking, tournaments just, after TV. Just looking at TV, like, what do we call it? Uh, Sony. Well, you know, Sony. That's the name of the next... You know, they just run out of ideas. I'll name the next tournament Trinitron. Trinitron? Yes. Well, I think it has to be the brand of the TV. Oh. So maybe just find, like, a really weird off-brand and just name your tournament that, and people won't know. They're like, oh, it's a pretty cool name. It's something that doesn't exist anymore because uh, most of these TVs are obsolete for anything else. Other than Wayland. Oh, that's true. But, I mean, someone's got it in their closet. You just go to Goodwill, dude, and there you go. You're set with tournament names for, like, the rest of your life. Yeah. All right, what character do you play? Falcon? I play Marth. Marth? Okay. I don't know why. I just I feel like I saw you sat sitting down and playing Falco before. I, you yeah. probably did. Okay. I'm trying to also play Falco, uh, but... I have to practice more, and I just, I don't have the time. Well, I'm going to be honest, Sheik and Samus both remind me a little bit of a Falco. So, kind of like a Falco did it. I'm, I'm asking for your input, man, in a really southern roundabout way. <laughs> What's going on in this match? Why CZ? That's all you have to worry about. That's all I have to worry about this yeah. tournament? Oh, well, actually, no. Like, the two dudes here. No, no. Captain's here. I heard you, man. YCZ, YCZ though. YCZ must have been secretly training with PPU's son that we don't know about. <laughs> right? And you know about all this, and I don't. Is YCZ going to win this tournament, man? Is there something we don't know? Robunzu, my Marth has always been my mate. Usually, I mention another character that I'm working on as a coach. Fox did not work out. I just want an honest answer, man. What character do you play? Martin. That's it. He's, he's my boy. Wow. Thought he's gonna nair me. Oh! Hit him, hit him with the grapple and the mind game all at the same time. I want a list of sheiks that have beaten YCZ in Norgal. Because it must be like, what would you do with a list like that? Shroomed and Ladandis. I'd probably like rub it in his face later. That a sheep beat a Samus? But he's so good at it. He's so good. <laughs> yeah, but I mean, there's some things you could be good at that's like you're still not gonna win in, in the higher levels. Duck can do it. What what could she say? Has he beat Mijiki yet? That is a good question. Has any Samus ever beat Mijiki? You know you know what? I'm gonna tell you. That list. I'm would gonna be tell you hard. a classic story that doesn't go anywhere and it's just about me and won't entertain anyone. Okay. You know, the usual. So back at the original ROM, when I was still like not not really that great. I was in pools, and there was the Samus main. I think he was like the second or third seed, and then I was the other guy slotted to get out. It was, it was only top two get out, okay. and Mewtwo King. And so I just sat there and watched Mewtwo King play like whoever I was about to play. Yep. And like for example, he played against the Samus, and he went Sheik, and he just destroyed him. And so then I played him next, and I just went Sheik and did the exact same thing that Mewtwo King did. <laughs> And I just did that for all the people at our pool. Oh my god. And I sat down and they were like, alright, let me play, let me play it right after Mewtwo King did, and I just copied what he did. No. That was, that was, uh, that was pretty funny. That is actually really, really smart. And there you go. Doesn't Stories go of, of how you become a top player, ladies and gentlemen. Watch Mewtwo King play your opponents and then just do the exact same thing. Yeah, just try to get in the same, like, pool. Round, that was back in round robin pools. So, I don't know if it'll work these days. Yeah, Red Robin's pretty rare. Whoa. 
don't yeah. think I've seen that before. Why air dodge stays off, off stage ground. for about a million years. Dude, he just did two air dodges before he touched the ground. What is this, Smash Bowl? He thought it was. <laughs> air dodging below the stage. Yes, yeah, so he tried to do the same thing, dude. To Samus only, Link only, Young Link only. Who else can do it? I think it was the only guys that could do it. Oh, so. he's going to do it. You can air dodge up. I never, I very rarely see Samus's do a slight air dodge up. It's like a tilt air dodge and still keep your jump. Okay, did he do it? Yes. He just proved it. Dude, I've never seen a Samus do that. It's so surprising to me that he took all of that time to recover off stage twice. I'm going to tell you something. Recovering with Samus is the best part about her, man. Probably feels really fun. Yeah, that's like the the. That's, I feel like that's where Samus is at her strongest, man. Is recovering. Because people try to jump out there and do some crazy things to you, and you just have so many options. Maybe even more options than when Samus is on stage. Funny. Bro. Samus seems pretty li linear and good options. <laughs> oh. Why see Sizzle? <laughs> 